each week we try to read your stories and give you a different perspective and a little bit of advice as well with Twin and of course Pierre came in the studio. Hi! Hello. Hey, hello. You both look very How good today. Thank you. All yeah. makeup and dolled up. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like the first time, like uh, that with this makeup and yeah, the K-pop and, and that, I guess. Yeah, uh-huh. with the uh-huh. hair too. Yeah, with hair too. Uh-huh. Well, us girls, we wear makeup, but uh-huh. like you know, hair and makeup uh-huh. and all yeah. that. And so, other than our show today, you got something else to do? Yeah, after that. Okay, so yeah, you have something it's, for it's, TV? Yeah, it's, it's for the TV. There's like a filming. Oh, we don't know. We cycle. Our uh, first time in Arirang TV, so Ooh. excited. Excited. Yes. Yay! Sounds good. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, uh, aside of the fact that we're going to actually listen to both of you sing today. Ooh. Yeah, 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 that too. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's why you guys look good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, we've also got some stories to look at for today. So uh, who wants to start off with our first story? Can I? Okay, sure. I will. It's from Ashley from USA. Okay. okay. When I first met my boyfriend after weeks of knowing him, he said he likes me, so I started dating him because I thought I like him too. I'm not sure about my feelings with him. We've been together for two months now. I don't know if I should break up with him or not. Whoa. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I don't want to hurt his feeling, but she does, she's not really sure about her feeling. Mm. If I break up with him because uh, he seems to really like me, mm-hmm. I feel like I should just wait for the school to be over since we are seniors and I'm sure we won't go to college together. I know we won't last long after going to college since we won't be able to see each other much. Mm-hmm. Should I just wait till school is over or should I break up with him right now? Uh-huh. Mm. Wait, what? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um... It's always really difficult to make, um, it's not making decisions instead, but, you know, like giving advice. Whoa. But I I would just think that if I was Ashley, what I would do. So I would. (laughs) Okay. So we've got our horns. (laughs) Horns and our. So turn the light on. Oh, so you're going to say Mm. turn the light on. So break up with it. No, 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 not break. Breaking up with him. Stay with him. Uh, stay with him. Oh, stay with him. Okay. Mm-hmm. So stay with him. Stay with him. Keep dating. If I were her, Ashley and senior, and then she's going to be graduating. And he really likes her. And then they've been only dating for like two months. I would still go out. That's what I'm going to do. So Okay. Yeah. So you think that she should stay with him? Even though she doesn't really know what she's feeling? Because she doesn't doesn't know what she's feeling. Ah, That's because why. she doesn't know why she, what she's feeling. Yeah, if she's sure that she doesn't like him or, I mean, he has some, like, serious problem, then, you know, I would think differently. But in this case, she doesn't know yet, so... Okay. I'm trying to light up. So, give time. So, it's give only time. been two months. Let's give it yeah, time. time. Yeah, Okay, Young, what about you? I'm one, too. Oh, okay, on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not really sure. Like, I don't know what to say, but that's what I would do because it's only been like weeks of knowing him Mm -hmm. and it's like two months. So I think there must be uh, some kind of chance to get to know each other better. Mm -hmm. Because um, dating is like, it's not like having a a dreamy crush or something, but it's like going out, Mm -hmm. it's like uh, knowing each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, more mm-hmm. and then you get kind of you know the more uh, connected okay with him him or her okay that's why i think so hello have you ever dated somebody so change the mm-hmm. situation yeah you dated a girl mm-hmm. because she really liked you like she was the one that confessed first and she was just like you know i really <laughs> like you um and so you dated her but you were just like well well, you've got the point. <laughs> 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 because like, I never. Oh, because you never. I never, oh, okay. I never dated. Mm-hmm. Like, Pierre, what about you? Um, because um, I feel that you would probably be quite popular when you're going to school in. But, but the, the thing States. is that I, you know, you know, guys like me first, okay. obviously. But if I didn't like him, then I never go out. So. So you think that she just doesn't know what she's feeling yet? Yeah, but the thing is that you know I'm kind of person. I'm the, I don't go out like often. Mm. What I'm saying is that when I'm in relationship, uh, for me like normally it takes like two to three years. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, two months you don't know him yet. So, but if he has any problem, and then what I think it is, she's a senior, so she's gonna go to college next year. And then one of the things that she feels um, worries and stuff is that because she's going to leave and then they're going to maybe have a long distance relationship. Mm-hmm. I think I feel that she worries about it. Mm. So if uh, what I believe is I don't like long distance relationship, I don't believe in it, but you can do it, you know, if you really have a passion for it. Okay. But, you know, you don't need to, you don't know yet. You don't even know that if you guys maybe go to the same college, you don't know anything yet. So Mm. don't think too ahead. That's what I want to say. Yeah. So don't think of just now Mm -hmm. and try to worry about Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to happen like months Mm -hmm. from now. In this case, she doesn't talk about any other guy or any other problem. Yeah, that's why I thought. Uh, That's why I, you know, turned the light on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So both of you think light on. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to keep mine off today. Okay. I think she should actually trust her gut feelings. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a Korean saying that you should marry or date a guy that loves you. Uh-huh. Girl, For girls, we, uh, for we are given the gut mm-hmm. advice that girls don't marry a person that you love more, but marry a person that loves you more mm-hmm. so that they can sacrifice a little bit more for mm-hmm. you. Because, uh-huh. of course, uh, us girls are so complicated. Uh-huh. I'm a girl and I agree. We are complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree too. <laughs> yes, we are very complicated. Absolutely. Um, but uh, if you're already in a relationship, he really likes you. You've known him for a few weeks, and you've been dating for two months now. So that means that maximum, it's about 100 days. In mm-hmm. Korea, that's a very big yeah. uh, anniversary. Yeah, yeah, 100, 100 days. 100 days. 100 days. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you have dated for about 100 days now, and you're still not digging it, mm-hmm. and you're already worrying about, you know, oh, we're going to be going to different colleges anyways... Um, I feel Mm -hmm. that it's just going to go downhill and your senior year is Mm -hmm. supposed to be enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to make a lot of memories, Mm -hmm. take a lot of pictures with your friends, Mm -hmm. yearbook, do a lot of, of course, finals are in there, SATs, applications, university (laughs) visits. You're going to be going back and forth so much that Mm -hmm. if you're not willing Mm -hmm. to invest into a relationship at the moment Mm -hmm. maybe it's not time for you to be dating somebody you can think that too i mean that makes sense but what the what i'm saying is that you don't need to have your relationship the first priority right now true that's what i'm saying but it doesn't mean that you need to break up because you're not sure Mm. you're feeling that's what i'm saying yeah okay Mm -hmm. so don't be drastic because you're doubting your feelings Mm -hmm. for him Mm -hmm. and they're gonna be having like kind of busy days and mm-hmm. he may be the one who could like comfort him in difficult times because oh, mm-hmm. yeah she's gonna be you know applying for the university mm-hmm. and like having those, all those complicated you know mm-hmm. like uh, situations yeah, yeah situations I think the relationship may be developing in a good way I guess okay so you think yeah. that out of the chaos mm-hmm. they actually could bond over yeah. things instead of yeah sometimes it yeah. goes sour in, in, in mm-hmm. such times like mm-hmm. people get more like bonded to each okay. other isn't mm-hmm. it? like a like nice friendship yeah together. yeah kind of I mean I really like that the reason is that um I when I'm in, in relationship you know like it's usually longer than most of other like friends yeah, true. around me so the reason i like it is that i like that kind of bond and i like that kind mm. of friendship and something really deep you know when you're looking at his eyes mm. and then you know everything and so like that so what i believe is that i mean i understand that ashley has this problem and then she's doubting and everything but I think the biggest reason that she's doubting is that because she's senior and then she needs to make a big decision for mm. her future. Mm. So she feels like uh, she needs to cut out everything that she's not uh, sure about it. And then focus on. Focus on. It's a, it's a matter of priority. She uh-huh. can set out the what is most important for her and for now. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean she needs to cut out everything. That's what I feel. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Me too. <laughs> keep it. You can keep it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. She's not willing to meet other guy or like it's not it's not like a is it, this is not such a like um terrible situation because if she has a boyfriend 
and she's not really sure about what she feels right now. Mm. And then she's like looking at the other guy, like, mm. oh, I started to like him, mm-hmm. but I've got a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. This is a very, 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 very terrible situation. But I think this is okay. Because there's no, there's not right. another guy in the picture mm-hmm. at the moment. So yeah. Ashley didn't give us another guy in the picture. Not so. like a friend coming into the relationship or something like that. True. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's not like oh, so my best girlfriend is saying that he's not really the guy for me. Mm-hmm. He, they're not mm-hmm. saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's not another guy in the picture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We just know that right now Ashley's just not sure about yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. I think positively, and even though if you like, even though you break up with him right now, if you deal with it really well, she's he's not gonna be. You know, like he's not. It's not gonna be a bad memory because mm. uh, yeah. Senior year relationship. Yeah, and mm. if you want to break up later, like mm. for sure, then you can do it. Mm. But what I believe is that you know you break up and then maybe you you are doubting. So maybe later you feel like oh he was the one or like I really you're need regret- him. Like you're gonna regret later on. Mm. That's like uh, stupid. Okay. Yeah, I, feel, yeah, I, feel I, I ha- hate regretting. Okay. I hate regretting. I hate regretting. Too. Like, I really hate, especially in the relationship, mm-hmm. like, you should do your best when you're in the relationship because when it's breaking, yeah. then you can't, uh, it's, it's hard to mend it. Totally oh, yes. agree with that. Well, me too. Um, but I'm a little bit more dramatic, whereas <laughs> if, let's say, uh, the guy broke up with me mm-hmm. and I'm mm-hmm. off, I'm obviously heartbroken, mm-hmm. I'm going to say everything I wanted to say mm-hmm. if, because I don't want to go back and be like, Man, I should have cussed him out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, months later, I'd be like, oh, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, that anger, if mm-hmm. that started building up in me mm-hmm. because I didn't say anything, mm-hmm. I, I think I'm going to regret that. So, mm-hmm. in a way, somebody might think I'm crazy when they break up. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think you I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like similar to you. So, like, I need to say what I want to say and exactly. I need to really communicate, but it doesn't mean, like, but I. It doesn't mean I need to do it in like with angry mind, you know what I mean? When I'm like kind of calm down, then I should, yeah, I try to communicate, but it's not always happening because, you know. <laughs> They're breaking up with you. Uh-huh, but. <laughs> uh-huh, so, but before that, like you need to really communicate, like whatever you feel. True. That's, that's what I believe in relationship then, you know, how can you like having a relationship with somebody else and you don't share your feelings? Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So actually, I mean, maybe you should open up a little bit about why you're feeling like why you're doubting talk to your significant other Mm -hmm. don't be like i don't like you (laughs) (laughs) um if you want to go with uh pure and hyungwoo's advice even though i didn't turn on my horns today Mm -hmm. um maybe you should think of uh you know if you want to continue with the relationship it might help to uh think or talk to your significant other and be like you know what um, I need a little spark. Be mm. honest. Mm. Be like, I need a little True. bit of, you know, mm-hmm. romance mm-hmm. in the relationship. Mm. If you like a storybook love story, mm-hmm. then kind of hint that you want to go to a really pretty restaurant mm-hmm. and for at least one night yeah. and like be swept off your feet and then him being like Al Pacino and dance with you <laughs> on the dance floor. I don't know. <laughs> and there's many different things that girls need to feel mm-hmm. special. And be loved. And be loved. Yeah, your boyfriend should find a way to make you like you. Exactly. But don't think guys know these things. Guys don't know these things. That's the problem. Why you don't know? know. Like, (laughs) why guys don't know? I have a question. We are trying, but we are trying. trying. Okay, we don't know, but we are trying. Drop hints. I think if you're going to try to keep this relationship going, like these two are saying, Drop some hints. Mm-hmm. So if, let's say Hyungwoo is your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Let's say you want like a really big date one day. Like mm-hmm. you want him to be like super romantic. Mm-hmm. Drop hints. Take him to a movie. Be like, oh, did you think he's so romantic? Mm-hmm. That's I, do, a hint. I do things all right. I think I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> I do things all right. Yeah, I do things all right. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah. If I'm into it. I believe in him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think Kim will be fine. Yeah, I, know, be I, know, fine. I know how things go. Like, <laughs> so for our he is so, He's so sure. Yeah. That's like, I don't know. That makes me feel maybe. He's not telling you. <laughs> no, no. Okay, no, so really. it's go or stop for our first uh, story. And for Ashley, should she keep going on with the relationship? We just go, which is these two, our guests, have put, turned on their horns. Me, mm-hmm. oh, I'm actually thinking that, you know, maybe this is a sign, a gut feeling that you're not supposed to be in a relationship at the moment. So for our listeners, go or stop. Uh, please mm-hmm. share that with us for today. Uh, Hyungwoo is going to be first to singing for us live. 
today. Oh, he oh. brought his guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do it. So what are you going to be singing for us um, for today? I'm going to uh, sing a cover. It's a Sam Smith song. <gasps> it's called... Ooh. It's called... I'm not ah. doing one. <laughs> okay, so nice. ready when you are. Okay. <coughs> I've got a bad cough. <clears throat> It is a very yeah. nice song. Uh, I have to say that there's a reason why Sam Smith is so popular <laughs> these days. His songs are very, so good. interestingly, addicting. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, it's kind of addictive, really. It is. They're yeah. very addicting. Mm. Um, it's the kind of songs where I'd actually like to wake up in the morning yeah. to, even though it's a breakup song. Mm-hmm. Why is it? <laughs> why is that? So really, <laughs> I don't know why. 
Okay, because you like the. You know? I just like his vocals. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I like the fact that the songs that he's been bringing these days is really simple. Mm-hmm. The melody, uh-huh. yeah, the, the chord yeah, progression, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. everything That's is just very what simple. What I like about him, yeah, mm-hmm. his songs, his yeah. simplicity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. So we're looking back at <laughs> Ashley's uh, story from the USA. Mm-hmm. So she's been dating her boyfriend for about. Uh, an estimate of three months now. So she knew him a few weeks, then they started dating. She feels that he likes her more. She just kind of, eh. And uh, they're graduating this year, and the, she just thinks that she should break up with him. Mm. Um, Pierre and Hyungwoo think that uh, she should still date him. But for me today, I'm actually going to go against our guest. And I'm like, nah, I think it's time for her to trust her gut. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move on. On to our second story. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's asked to be uh, remain anonymous from the mm. USA. So, Pure, could you do us the honors? Yes. Uh, lately, my best friend has been ignoring me. She won't reply to my messages and hasn't talked to me in three days. We both follow each other in SNS and we see each other online all the time. But lately, she won't reply or say anything to me. Huh. This mm. hasn't been the first, second, or even third time that it's happened. At the beginning of our friendship, it used to happen a lot more often, but now after a few years, I haven't had this ish for in a while. I think there might be a jealousy problem because every time something really good happens to me, she will ignore me. Oh. Like a few days ago, I told her that I finally got a new job, and since then, she hasn't said anything to me. I thought uh, she would be happy for me, but I guess she wasn't. We are both college students, and she's also looking for a job. Maybe she's mad that um, she hasn't found one yet. I don't know. Have you ever been in a situation where your friends was jealous of you? Or maybe a similar situation? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Yay. (coughs) Not yay. Not yay. (laughs) No yay. It's like... I I mean, I don't want to say this, but... You know, between girls, there's always a jealous problem. Oh, yeah. He's like, Aww. you know, I know, we know, I everyone knows. That. Yeah, it's either you are jealous of somebody or somebody's jealous of you. It's either, either. Everybody's frenemies. Yeah. I'm glad this word was created a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Friends and enemies at the same time. Frenemies. Frenemy, yeah. Um, Frenemy. And, and I think this is why I have trust issues with girls. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I Pure know. and I yeah, have, yeah. or we talked about this uh-huh. numerous times, mm-hmm. but her and my personality mm-hmm. are very trustworthy and mm-hmm. we're very open. open I'll yeah. talk about anything. Mm-hmm. Whether you take that to heart or not, mm-hmm. I don't care. I'm not going to insult you, mm-hmm. but I would like to tell you my... the truth. Yeah, yeah, I tell the truth. Yeah. So if I dated someone or my family's like this or mm-hmm. I have this kind of a problem or issue or mm-hmm. opinion... Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, But there are people that take that the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have trust issues with girls. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, I want to know what goes on with them. Do you guys get jealous of each other? Not really. So, like, how was since you're doing music, if there's a really nice guitar that you've been eyeing for, like, Mm -hmm. years now, but Mm -hmm. it's either been too expensive Mm -hmm. or you're just afraid that you're going to break it if you buy it, Mm -hmm. you know, you're not going to use it, it's going to be a waste of money, Mm -hmm. Um, and somebody really close to you bought it. Got it. Yeah. And we're going to be, like, for for guys, yeah, it's it's, uh, among my friends. It's, um, it's like, more sad and um, bad thing to be just zealous oh really okay. mm-hmm. yeah because because it makes you a worse person you oh. should be you should be like you should be ready to say it oh my god i i, I envy you i like, envy you okay. yeah, I, was, I wanted to vote it, I, mm. vote it but i couldn't do it mm. something like that we have to be ready to say it that makes you a better person in in mm. inside our mind okay. so if you uh, are like you don't say it but you're zealous and uh, jealous but and uh, act like that and it's like um, among boys it's like it makes you uh, something worse person okay so, so in guys it's more of a mm-hmm. pride thing to actually fess up to be like dude mm-hmm. man I wanted that yeah. mm-hmm. instead of being like oh my god yeah, yeah. but girls that. are more like we don't say I'm jealous <laughs> but we are really jealous yeah so um, I think um, if this is not um, when she said uh, about how she got a job right mm-hmm. She she must not have been something like oh I've got a job you still haven't got it so that's so bad on your life mm-hmm. she wouldn't if if it's not a problem something like that mm-hmm. then maybe 
is a bit she's a bit half small minded I guess okay mm-hmm. well yeah. true I yeah. agree um, I don't know how our anonymous listener said it but if she mm. like threw it in her face like so guess what I got a job today did yeah. you get a job yet like uh, that's, that's a yeah. little that's close a little, minded yeah. that makes her friend and you know got jealous of her oh yeah like, maybe mm. hate her even so <laughs> not so much yeah. jealous that'd be like excuse me uh, what is that <laughs> exactly what are you saying you know but I hope anonymous this person wouldn't say things like that. But what I believe is that um, between girls, there's mm-hmm. a... Like Hyung said, between guys, when you're uh, like actually... Has, uh, something happened to your friend that maybe you got jealous of it mm-hmm. and you say, oh, yeah, I envy you. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say out loud. It's good and for you. Between yeah. girls, we don't say it. Mm. That's the problem, I think. Mm. Mm. If you say, oh, good for you. I'm jealous of you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I am you. Say if you it. can say it. So when something really nice happened, I try to say it to my friends. And I'm very straightforward person and mm-hmm. I'm very honest. So I'm the kind of person who can say yeah. it. But so many girls are not like that. And what I don't like is that um, if something happened and then they are jealous or not, they try to hide it. I, the, the, yeah. the thing that I don't like about it is, is the hiding part. Yeah, 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 yeah. The hiding part is the This friend, if this friend was talking to me, like if I was her, and then talking to me about, um, oh, good for you. Like, you know, if you try to talk it out, mm. then, you know, I wouldn't feel anything if mm. she's jealous or whatever. Mm. But the problem is that when girls jealous, mm. they're like, don't say anything, quiet. And then like just hiding it. And then they and pretend... They they pretend that mm-hmm. like that it's thing okay. is okay, mm. and then like, like it's not okay. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Mm-hmm. Hiding is problem. Yeah. Honest honesty is really important. I think. Well, yeah, and of course, um, it's heartbreaking to know that. Uh, in the story, it says best friend. In yeah. Best in quotations because obviously our anonymous listener thinks that this friend is her best friend, uh. but obviously this person doesn't. Mm-hmm. Mm. So. Um, I know that I'm going way too ahead mm-hmm. of the actual situation right now, but mm-hmm. honestly, you're in college, you're starting to get jobs now. A lot of friends change in the beginning years of your 20s. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, friends that I had in my 20s, mm-hmm. like early 20s, early 20s, I don't talk to any of them. Mm-hmm. It was sad at one point, but I think that it was needed. I was really you know, flamboyant mm-hmm. and energetic mm-hmm. and out and partying and having fun in my early 20s. Mm-hmm. I don't do that now. Anymore. Yeah. So obviously, if I met somebody then and they're still doing that mm-hmm. in my age now, mm-hmm. they will be considered crazy, mm-hmm. <laughs> in my opinion, mm-hmm. because they're not... Immature. Yeah, they're very immature. Yeah. Um, they're not thinking of their priorities. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying, okay, we're going to be like bookworms. We're going to plan for our future. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have like mm-hmm. 50... Like, I'm going to have, like, you know, Mm -hmm. I'm, like, this uptight person. But, you know, reality is you need to somehow uh, start maturing up. And Mm -hmm. I I think that our anonymous listener is already there, Mm -hmm. but that friend is still Mm -hmm. a few years Mm -hmm. behind Mm -hmm. in the maturity level. When it comes to, like, girlfriend, my oldest friend is since I was 13, but, you know... Other than her, like, my best friends are, I met them, like, after 25. Exactly. Yeah, so mm-hmm. only 20, you know, you know, so it can be really changed. So you don't need to think that, oh, she's my best friend. How can she be? You're like, you know, you don't, it's okay. Mm. Yeah, later on, you're going to mm. know that it's going to be okay. And then you're going to find the really best friends. But, you know, we talked about it first that maybe your attitude towards, like, talk to, or to her mm-hmm. wouldn't be, like, really nice. Maybe. Mm. So, so you yeah. should check. Check on you, too. Yeah. Check on yourself, too. Maybe. Yeah, I maybe yeah. subconsciously you're uh-huh. being really cocky. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't yeah, act yeah, like, you don't yeah, think so. Yeah. Uh-huh, but, I thought so, too. Mm. But maybe that so. could mm. be what people perceive it as. Uh-huh. Yeah, somehow you may be hurting your friends. Exactly. Feeling. It can happen. So we, 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 can happen. we try to go yeah. everywhere yeah. to solve this problem. So, mm. you know, don't be offended. But, uh, yeah. For me, personal experience. Mm-hmm. My friends told me one day, flat out, mm. stop talking. Stop talking to me. Yeah, to me, because we were we were having a few drinks, mm-hmm. and I thought that I was listening mm-hmm. to my friend's conversation, mm-hmm. but they're just like, "You keep butting in." I didn't know that. Mm. Ah. 
So for me, oh. I was trying to keep the conversation yeah. going in my perspective. So just reacting to Yeah, the, just reacting yeah. and then mm-hmm. giving my personal input mm-hmm. and then listening to them again. Mm-hmm. But I guess me having to... And this was after I started radio. Mm-hmm. So I guess like when I first started mm-hmm. trying to talk for two hours mm-hmm. and practicing to talk yeah. longer uh-huh. yeah, yeah. was something that was crossing over into my personal life. Mm-hmm. Which for me, yeah. at first I was like, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. But... It was an eye opener, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so it could be that situation yeah. for our listener. Could be. Mm-hmm. There's a there's like a possibility, so it's like worth mentioning it. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. It's worth mentioning, and it's like it's worth like looking at if you mm-hmm. really really want to save your relationship mm-hmm. with your friend. Mm-hmm. Um, Miso says uh, for the second story, I totally understand you. I'm in the situation right now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong to her, but she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Even my friend wants someone uh, who's more of like an open book with her. Mm-hmm. So I did that too. Mm-hmm. But then she's mad at me now, and I pretty much lost contact with her, and so it's so heartbreaking, which is true. Yeah, it's, heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking, but hmm, maybe it's a like, different personality kind of problem too. The character is different when you're like you know like outspoken, then your friend should be outspoken too. And the, or if your friend is not outspoken, then she should understand that kind of person. Mm. They should be okay with that. But if it's not, that's the matter of the characteristics. So you don't really need to be sad about it, and then you should feel kind of relieved that it happens kind of earlier. True. Because it's, mm. as time goes by and then like later on, 20 years later, you found out that your friend doesn't really like you or like doesn't really like your personality, then it would be really hurtful. So it's mm. better. Yeah, I think to it's know. better to know uh. early on in the friendship mm-hmm. status. Indeed. Yeah. Really, your friend is supposed to be really happy, like truly happy about, you know, you getting the job. But uh, in the other part of the, her mind, she may be feeling kind of mm-hmm. depressed or something like mm-hmm. that. True. Then it's better if she is ready to say it. Mm. You should always be ready to be honest with your friend. Mm-hmm. I, with my best friend, I don't like to, you know, if I feel something bad about it, mm-hmm. about, about you know, many situations, mm-hmm. because we talk a lot and we, like, contact a lot, mm-hmm. then I always, like, get to say it. Mm-hmm. And we always get to have the conversation about it. Then mm-hmm. it gets better. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Any relationship needs mm-hmm. conversation, like yeah. you were saying earlier. Yeah. No matter if you're friends, parents, mm-hmm. family, mm-hmm. Yeah. significant other, yeah. communication is key. Mm-hmm. So um, maybe like uh, Hyung was saying, I think that's a really good point where she might be having personal problems with her family mm-hmm. and you're over there in the corner being like, is she mad that I got a job? When she could mm-hmm. be going through something that's even bigger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, instead of thinking about just what she's thinking towards you mm-hmm. maybe try to open up about what they might be thinking mm-hmm. and that might help mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. um pure you have uh prepared a song as well what kind of song is it it's one of yours kind of like actually i try to play the piano and then you know it, i couldn't so. okay <laughs> so in the studio so i brought this uh, instrumental thing is that um I wrote this song when I was, when was it? Like 24 or 5? 24 or 5? Mm-hmm. The song is You. Mm-hmm. But it's not You. You oh. know, when you think about You, I, You, Me, no, it's not that You. Oh. It's a You, it's like in Korean or Yu Ginong. Oh. It's organic. <coughs> the organic start with the O. Like mm-hmm. Yu Ginong start with the U. Mm-hmm. So it's You. No. Oh. It's about like organic love. Oh. Ah. Uh-huh. So the English title is Pure T. No, it's actually a different song though. Oh, really? Because yeah. the, the MR that we have right now is pure T. Pure T, yeah. But there's a, like, first track will be the U. Mm. No? No? Yeah. No? No, then go, go to... <laughs> then we play pure T? Then we're going to be listening to pure T? Huh? Is it Would still in your in your album? Is that is right? still, yeah, it's in my album. Yeah, it's in the oh, it's the first track. Yeah, okay, yeah, we got the CD. Yeah, this okay. is the beauty of a live show. Uh-huh. This is the beauty of, beauty the, of the live show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we always have... Uh, like, nervous beauty, of course. Yeah, nervous beauty and what else? And things change. Uh, things change in beauty, yeah. Okay, so everything's ready and we are, you are going to be singing yes. you today. Yeah. So, ready when you are. Yes, I am ready.
Yeah, you should be able to communicate and tell each other that. Wow. It suits our story. Yeah, it really does. (laughs) Perfect. (laughs) Okay. All right. So, uh, (laughs) Yongwoo, let's uh, have you do the honors of our last story for today from Germany. Okay. It's a story from Anne. Okay. Hi, it's Pyo and Yongwoo. Yeah. The worst thing ever happened to me this week. Oh, no. (laughs) No. Oh, no. Uh, My boyfriend (laughs) broke up with me just like Uh, that. Oh, no. I was was so furious and mm-hmm. asked him if he already had a new girl and if he betrayed me. I've done that! Mm. <laughs> but he said no and said that he just lost his feelings for me. Whatever, you know. Whatever. Whatever. whatever, whatever, like. whatever. Okay, just, continue. He just didn't have a girlfriend, yeah. but he had a girl, I think. But this wasn't <laughs> uh-huh. even the worst part of my story. Two days after that I saw him in the city mm. holding hands See? with a girl... I really dislike, and he knew that I dislike her. Oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm so pissed. Whoa, 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 whoa. You should watch your mouth. <laughs> you should guys watch your mouth. And please, can you tell me what to do to make me feel better? Uh-huh. Can you cheer me up? Lots of love from Germany. I mean, like first and the most, it's good for you that you break up with them. Yeah, you're. You guys are done. Yeah, That's yeah. Like, yeah. Nice. Yes. Yes. happening to me like this year. Good for you. Yeah, good for it's, you. It's, it's <laughs> really good for you. I know that your heart is aching right now, uh-huh. but you don't deserve it. Yeah, you don't deserve He don't. He doesn't yeah. deserve oh, yeah, you. So. Yeah, that's right. He, he doesn't, doesn't deserve, deserve you. you. So like, good for you. The first thing you like, I said, if you are my friend, I would, you know, if it was like in private, in person, then I would say a lot of things. Yeah. Like, hey, I cannot say it right now, so I should come down a little bit. So, <laughs> it must, top, it top. must be so bad for Anne because for um, Anne. She doesn't even want to hear us saying that he's a bad guy. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When and I know the feeling. That's the worst thing. Worst thing ever. You know, yeah, when you're breaking up with a girl, then you should be the worst guy ever because you're breaking up with a girl. Yeah. You should pretend, pretend to be like, I like you. And then, you know, I don't have, I don't betray, I didn't betray, uh, like, I, yeah. That's, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. I think our he's staff so outside should get ready to <laughs> start bleeping our, story, our show today. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like a, quite a lot of possibility that mm-hmm. she, he had actually betrayed her. Mm, betray- yeah, that he betrayed like her. Because it's two days he after. Did. He yeah, did. Are you kidding? He yeah. did. He did. <laughs> you know, if he didn't betray her, then two days after, I mean, it, 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 need, it needs to take like two months. At least. Oh my God. Yeah, you're supposed um, to have at least like two, two weeks. Months, two, like, two weeks like, to like kind of yeah, be sad and, you know, feel sorry for everything yeah. and make... And I don't believe when guys say, like, you know, I don't have a feeling for you anymore. You know, it means that he has a feeling for other person. Exactly. Most of the time. No, but I feel that girls are the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Girls, when we break up with a guy and we Uh say, honestly, I just don't have any more feelings for you, it's because... I have feeling for others. Exactly. Yeah. Because because otherwise, you must be feeling... Like, even though you don't like her anymore Uh or him anymore, if you broke up with him, you're supposed to be really sad about it. I mean, obviously, Uh Uh you put an effort into the relationship. Like, for many days, many years... Uh, I don't know how long you guys dated, uh. but forever, how short or long the relationship uh-huh. was. A relationship means you open your heart, yeah. uh-huh. you let your guard down, you let you, and you let your guard down. Yeah, you accepted Ugh. somebody into your life, mm-hmm. but for somebody to just be like, eh, sorry, mm. I'm somebody I'm else. Gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna return you. Uh, just be honest, you know. Uh-huh. I'm like, uh-huh. okay, you know, honestly, mm-hmm. um, I have this girl. I have this girl, mm-hmm. and you know what? I hate to end it this way, but. I'm mm-hmm. gonna have to end it. Mm-hmm. Then at least the girl can, you know, spit in your face, slap you, do whatever she yeah. needs to do, mm-hmm. and go on her way. Mm-hmm. But to be like, oh, I just don't have any feelings for you anymore. Excuse me, son. Yeah, that's and two days after, and then you ha- you're holding hands, and they, the the thing is that you know it's like, like she knows that the, she hates yeah, her. The ex boyfriend knows that it's Anne like a hates her. like 
you know, like boyfriend it. dating, ex boyfriend dating, like my best friend or like my worst enemy. Same thing. Oh, it's same thing. You shouldn't yeah. date anybody I know. Like exactly. you should find, like try to like. Oh my God. <laughs> hide it. You should try to hide it. That's why I hate high school. That's why yeah. I hate high school because oh, high school. it's in, it's inevitable to date somebody you know. <laughs> you have to date somebody you know. Small. And that's why I think everybody just gets all dramatic in high school. In my high school, it was only 15 seniors. Oh no. Oh, high school. Oh, no. So you know what? Everybody can end up the thing is that they've been like uh, going to the same school from like kindergarten. I oh. had my school was like that. Yeah, so. so everybody's dating everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah by the end yeah. of by the end of senior year, it's just like yeah, I've dated half of the senior uh, body. Uh, <laughs> but it's only like six people, so yeah. exactly. Yeah. Which technically is not a bad thing, but it's just really for smart. me. I'd like to really say that Anne should uh, be. I say that I, t- I said the same thing like a few minutes ago. You should not regret anything. And oh yeah, you're not gonna regret anything. Yeah, you shouldn't regret. It. Yeah. yeah, it's not your fault. The, yeah, he he's the guy who's to be responsible. He mm-hmm. he should, he must be regretting like after few like period mm-hmm. that have passed. I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, he will. He, he will. will. And he will come come back to her. Yeah. And yeah. trust me, he'll come back to you. Do not let him mm. back. Don't, yes. Don't. Yes. Even yes. if he starts don't. crying and begging on his knees, ah, do no, not no, no, take no, no. him back. No, never, 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 and don't, never. Don't, don't do anything to him. Don't go to him and say something, some bad word, or like, don't try to meet other guy because you want to revenge. Yeah, yeah. Meet mm-hmm. other guy if you are truly ready and if you are like truly like him. He so, talks like, like a textbook. Textbook of love. Textbook of relationship. That's very important for I mean, you. I, don't yeah, regret. but, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, just, like, date other guy and revenging kind of helps, too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, Maybe. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, that may help. Yeah. Um, just think of it this way. You experienced a jerk like him, mm-hmm. and you don't need him anymore, mm-hmm. and try to make not a habit of making meeting a jerk like him again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Learn from your mistakes. Yeah, learn from yeah. mistakes. And then you can just, not just in a relationship, but you can meet a lot of guys. Just date. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, date. Go just out. Date. Have guys pamper you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, enjoy mm-hmm. getting dressed up. Uh-huh. Um, going out with yeah, friends. Mm-hmm. Getting hit yeah. on. Yeah. And then you you can find, like, love later. But exactly. You, then then Hyung said that don't try to revenge him to meet other mm-hmm. guy. But what I'm saying was that mm-hmm. not in relationship. Yeah, But yeah, yeah, date true. a lot. Yeah, yeah, date yeah. Date a lot. Yeah, yeah. And then be pretty about yourself. Yeah, and cool. then... Someday you can fall in love, but it can be like really soon or really late. You, we, we don't know, but yeah. you can try to True. be like mm, yeah, really. girl who can be really loved. Okay, know? yeah, I agree. Mm. All right, um, so we're uh, going to go back to our first story because wow, we talked overtime today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so for Ashley, go or stop. It looks like our listeners sided with our guests today. Everybody Yee. said go. Majority go. actually, that is. Um, so we're gonna give it to you today. You okay. said uh, you have to think carefully about relationships. Even even in uh, the relationship before, mm-hmm. whether you continue to not, it's up to you. Um, but it's get better to get good memories in your life, especially with uh, your senior year. Yeah. So it looks like Miso wants uh, her to continue on with the relationship. So mm-hmm. thank you so much for that. Um, I think this is a perfect song for Anne as mm-hmm. our last track for today. Gina's debut single, I'll Get Lost, Go Your Own Way. <laughs> Young Jin Young tra- is featured on the track. So, this is our last track for today. We'll see you guys next week. Bye bye.